This is part 1 of Zero tutorial. In this video, we will create a Zero account, set up a tenant, and go through our Zero dashboard. This is our Zero website. If you receive a Auth Zero invite email from your coworker, or you want to use Auth Zero as a developer, or for other reasons you need to use Auth Zero, you have to sign up. We can register with our email, including personal email, common email, or third-party email. I will use my Google email. So it will ask you what account type of this. If you need to use this account for your company, you can choose company. And if you just use it for your personal purpose, you can use it as personal. Before I explain all the contents in the dashboard, it's better I demonstrate what all zero pages looks like. I wrote the application, it uses Auth0 to authenticate. It's running locally. You can see the URL is localhost. After I click login, it will be redirected to Auth0's website. You can see the URL here changed. So this is the page for Auth0. You can see this is the login page. And if you click sign up, you can send up an email address with of zero. If you forgot your password, if you click here, you can reset your password. In of zero, you can also combine with third party. By default, of zero will enable Google. To demonstrate, I will sign up myself. After I sign up, if you check of zero dashboard. You can see I'm already in the user list. Applications is used to manage the connections between your project and Auth0. Authentication is used to manage in which way you want to log in. For example, you want to use email and password, or you want to use third party social media like Google. User management is used to monitor user history and manipulate users. For example, previously I signed up with my personal account and you can see a user is listed here. Branding is used to customize a login page and emails. Security is used to protect your um, Auth0 security and avoid attacks. Actions and Auth pipelines is used to customize your signup and login flows. Monitor is used to monitor logs. Extension is used to Find and install extensions that you can use in Auth0. For example, you can monitor your real-time logs through extensions. Settings are for tenant settings. You can set up your uh, company logo. You can set up login policy. Or you can invite tenant members into this tenant. And there are other advanced settings you can use. We'll explain later. So this is the dashboard. Then I will demonstrate how to create a tenant. You click the tenant name here. You can see some options. You can click create a tenant. You can set up your tenant name like off zero play so one thing need to be noticed here is after you input the tenant name, it can't be changed. You can choose your region. 
and you can choose the environment tag here click create you can see a new tenant is created and it automatically switch to the new tenant if you want to switch back to the old tenant you can click and switch tenant you can see your tenant list you can switch between them in this video we first create the auth0 tenant and show what auth0 login page looks like after that we go through auth0 dashboard introduce all the features in the dashboard finally we create a new tenant and show how to switch between the tenants in the next video we will introduce applications Thank you for watching.